What's up guys? Do y'all want to make fat monthly dividend checks come into your bank account, come into your brokerage account? Today we're going to be talking about monthly paying ETFs, Yield Max Defiance Funds, TSLY. Today we're going to look at TSLY. It's a fat dividend paying stock, or I should say a distribution stock or ETF anyways. And uh, today we're going to look at it. We're going and I don't have any of these, but we're going to look at it. We're going to look at what it's paying. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Dividend Rick. We're going to talk about dividends. So we talk about it on this channel. Uh, as you can see here, we want you to subscribe. Let's go ahead and get into our first thing. Let's pull up that screen and let's see what happens. So Yomax ETFs. This one we're looking at here is TSLY. TSLY. It has a distribution rate, distribution rate of 54.61%, guys. That's kind of high, but that's what it is. So let's see how long it's been, how long it's been here. It's been open. Well, let's go get uh, 2023, May 23, 44 cents, 80 cents, 10 cents, or a dollar, I mean, 83 cents here in uh, August of 23. 58 cents, 57 cents, 58 cents, 6 cents, 55 cents, 40 cents. So it's kind of going down. The uh, amount is going down that they're paying out. And guess what? The stock is also going down or the ETF is going down. It also has a daggum pretty, uh, pretty high gross expense ratio, 0 0.99, which is almost 1%. Almost 1%. That's way too high. Way too high. Let's look at the, what they're holding. Net assets, $791 million in assets. Shares outstanding, $89 million. They are down. How much are they down for the year? One year, year to date, 21%. They're down 21%. You get fat dividend or dis distribution, monthly distribution checks, but your stock price going down, 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 down. So that doesn't really do anybody good when you're losing money. Yeah, you'll get fat monthly checks, but a year, two years, three years from now, if it continues going down, it's worth nothing. Not gonna be able to sell it for anything. Um, since inceptions down 13%, 14% on the NAV market. Let's scroll down and see what we got here. Security name, top 10 holdings. These are the holdings that they have in there. Tesla, Tesla, United States Treasury bills, Treasury, Tesla US. Okay, let's go to, I'm a, I don't think I would ever, would I buy this? Would I really buy this? Maybe we'll buy $1,000 of it. But let's look at what it's doing, the overview. The OMAX TSL, TSLA, which is Tesla Option Income Strategy ETF, TSLY, is an actively managed fund that seeks to generate monthly income by selling such writing call options on TSLA, Tesla. TSLY pursues a strategy that aims to harvest compelling yields while retaining cap participation in the price of price gains of Tesla. Investment objective. The fund's primary investment objective is to seek current income. The fund's secondary investment objective is to seek exposure to the share price of the common stocks of Tesla Inc. TSLA. Subject to a limit on potential investment gains. But you say you invest in this. They put 10 grand in there. You hold it for a year. And if you continue to reinvest your dividends, then you'll get more and more shares. But if you pull your dividends or your distribution out a year from now, you're not going to be worth 10 grand anymore. You might be worth like eight grand or seven grand, depending on how far it continues to drop. But if you leave your distributions in there, then you'll be buying more and buying more and buying more. So maybe 10 grand could turn into 12 or 13 grand um, within a year, how many shares you buy. Let's go look at, these are the other defiance funds. So defiance, uh, defiancetfs.com. Let's look at this one, JAPY. JAPY, the SP 500 Enhanced Options ETF. Distribution rate, 37.85%. Distribution frequency monthly, 30-day SEC yield, 3.23%. Uh, 
Check be the first put right ETF on the SP 500 using daily options ODTE to seek enhanced yield for investors paid monthly. So Jeppy aims to achieve consistent monthly yield distributions for investors coupled with equity market exposure to the S&P 500. Jeppy is an actively managed exchange traded fund that seeks enhanced income. Don't forget guys, subscribe to my channel. Enhanced income constructed of treasuries and S&P 500 index options. Strategy's objective is to generate outsized monthly distributions by selling option premium on a daily basis. The fund uses daily options to realize rapid time decay by selling in, in the money puts on ODTE. See, I'm not going to do options. I, I don't got time to sit here and do options, try to figure out what's this and what's that. So if I wanted to do options but didn't have the time to do it, I would probably invest in something like this and let them just use my money to put it all in there and then just collect a monthly dividend or distribution check if I wanted monthly income. Uh, my income, I'm investing for the long haul, age 55 to 67 and the future. I I'm expecting to have over a million dollars in my investment account by then. I should anyways, if I continue on my path of investing, $500 a week. Uh, soon I'll be picking that up to $600 a week and then probably the following year after that will be $700 a week. So I'm 42, by the time I'm 55, I should very easily have a million dollars in my account. So these are the Jeppy expense or a one percent expense ratio, guys. It's kind of pricey, kind of pricey. Performance total return year to date zero point seven seven one month. Okay, three months has a total return of nine point five four. So since inception it has a total return of six point four six, which really, really, I mean, it's really not that bad. It's not bad at all. It's like what they're holding. United States Treasury, Treasury Bills, Cash and Other. Okay, that's Jeppy. I already read all this wonderful stuff to you. Let's go back one. Let's go back here and see what else they have. QQQY. I know y'all have heard QQQ a lot. QQQ, QQQ, QQQ. Always a new QQQ. Distribution rate 56.49%. Monthly frequency QQY is the first put run ECF using daily options to seek enhanced yields for investors paid monthly. So it's pretty much the exact same thing that the other ones were saying, but they do it with NASDAQ 100 index options. So instead of the SP 500, it's the NASDAQ QQQ. And let's see, net assets $286 million. Expense ratio about a one, 0.99%. So that's not bad. Let's look at the since inception, 8.42%. So maybe maybe I will invest. Maybe I'll put a little bit of money. Maybe I'll put like $1,000 in it right now. Let's see what the going price is. What's today's price for QQQ? $17.37. Let's go here. QQQY. $17.37. My investment account here, let's see what we got. Defiance NASDAQ 100 enhanced ETF. So let's go, let's see what a three year does. So three year chart pulls it up, it's been dropping $20 down to $17. This is every month. It goes up, drops, goes up, drops, goes up, drops, goes up. I should buy it when it's low. I should buy it after the next drop. That's that's what I think I do. I'll buy it after the next drop, collect my money, and it just seems it doesn't have that many months on the market, so it's kind of sketchy. Let's look at the dividend, what Schwab says the dividend, the payout, and all that wonderful stuff is. Show more. So it's only had October. Dollar ten, November a dollar, December a dollar fifty five, January. Uh oh, and I don't see anything for Jan. Don't see anything for January, guys. Subscribe. Uh, we got February eighty five cents now, but this says January ninety three cents right here. So maybe it was. Maybe this just is wrong. All right. So you know what? 
It's seventeen. It's seventeen dollars and forty-four cents. Let's go ahead and see if we can buy some. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let's buy some. So if I buy ten, that's one hundred seventy-four dollars and forty cents. Let's buy twenty. Buy twenty of these. We're gonna dollar cost average into the market, guys. Should be how much that's gonna cost. Three hundred forty-eight dollars. Place order done. I just bought QQQY. Just bought it. What's this other one we was looking at a second ago? TSLY. So we brought this up a little bit ago. T title TR yield max TSLY. Dividends are dropping. Everything's dropping. But we're good. For, this is for research purposes only. Let's put five hundred dollars on it. Let's put five hundred dollars on it. And see what happens. How much is five hundred dollar? I would need. How much is let's say fifty of them? How much is that gonna cost? Fifty of them is four hundred forty one dollars. Let's do fifty five. How much is fifty five gonna cost? Four hundred eighty five dollars. Let's okay. Let's do four hundred eighty five dollars. Buy fifty five shares of TSLY. Dollar cost average to the market, daily market. Let's review it. $485, place order. There's my order. There it is. Okay. I just bought some. We're just going to we're gonna do it. We're going to see what it's about. We're going to see what this yield max stuff and this TSOY. Defi oh, Defiance. Sorry, Defiance uh, ETFs. So we're going to look at this Defiance and then the yield max of TSOY. So there it is, guys. I've been talking for 13 minutes, guys. I sure do appreciate it. Um, my next video, I'm going to go over uh, some other things I'm going to buy. I'll probably buy some Chevron, some AT&T. We'll check it out, guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. We sure do appreciate it. Appreciate you watching, stopping by. All right, y'all take care. Peace out.